In this video, I'm going to show you a tool that transfers styles from one picture onto another using AI. It's free, you can download the image for free, and it allows us to make different variations of the same keyword that are unique and give us different SEO opportunities. Okay, so let's be sure that we all understand why this works. We take, let's say, a text-based design. We upload it to Redbubble. We then run it through this tool and upload all of the other variants with different SEO describing the way that the tool has made the image look, which creates unique products. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Income Stream at Surfers. As usual, I've been doing research on print on demand and I've discovered something pretty freaking awesome. This tool here, Instapainting, if you go to instapainting.com slash assets, okay, I already did one example, I'm just going to very quickly show you. So if I open up this design, let's just say this is a text-based design for Redbubble, okay? If I click one of these options, it does something really, really cool, which is it adds this style to this image, okay? So now what I can do is, I can save the image as, okay? And then I can go to remove.bg slash upload. And I can remove the uh, background. You can also remove the background yourself using something like Photoshop or Photopea if you prefer. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to open up in Photopea and I'm going to drag and drop this. In fact, no, I'm not. I'm going to make a new file. I'm going to make it transparent. I'm going to do 4,500 by 5,400, which is the standard red bubble uh, dimensions. And then I'm going to drag and drop this. And then I'm going to make it bigger like that you will lose quality like that which sucks um, I actually I don't know how to do this better like obviously I can just upload this for example even that's quite small but yeah I just thought this was really really cool because uh, we can make some nice patterns with this and it seems to have a lot of different options and it's completely free as well like some of them don't work very well um, but if you made a pattern with like lines so if we if I go back on here and I just add um, a square and let's just copy this square a few times. Let's say this is a nice pattern. So if you want to make pattern designs, this would definitely work pretty well. Okay, that'll do as an example. Let's save it as pattern design example. Let's download this. Yeah, the only problem I've got is uh, not having it, everything uh, transparent, but. We can we can go through we can fix that problem fairly easily. Okay, so let's press start over here, and then I'm just gonna drag and drop this. No, I'm not. You can't drag and drop, which is really annoying. Pattern example. I could also use actually. I could use the. I I have an example. Uh, if this doesn't work very well, I have another example from another video. Let's see what this looks like. I want to see if it only does the squares or if it's gonna do everything. Oh, that's so cool. Don't you guys think that's really cool? <laughs> like. It's so easy as well, like, I really, really like that. Wow, yeah, that's really cool. It means that we can just add extra dimensions to our designs. You could potentially quite easily, maybe, I wonder if we could just do a, um, a face and then put it in. Like a cartoon face, how would that? This is really, really useful for making graphics, for sure. Like, I'm not really a graphic designer. So this is something that would come in very, very helpful for me. It would be very, very useful for me. I'm curious what this looks like. So let's just download, download. Mm -mm -mm. Save. Go back here. Start over. There are some really, really, really cool free tools on the internet that allow us to make nice patterns. It's a shame that a lot of people just stick to Canva um, and they just say, yeah, that's fine. That'll do because it's so easy to change something into something that's a bit more unique, a bit cooler. So, for example, if you want to, that's really bizarre. <laughs> if you wanted to do a t shirt, you could get this design, the smiley face, and then you could do some writing under it. I really, really like the fact that, uh, that this kind of tool for sure. Let's see what this one looks like and then we'll move on to something else. Meh. Okay, so I don't know if this is completely free but there are tools like this as well which is which are really really useful for making patterns and things okay so we can have the pattern as big as we want with this we can add whatever we want and it will just add it to the entire thing 
I guess we could just delete everything, create new, yeah. And then we can just add some things. So let's add that and then don't use this, obviously. <laughs> Why would they even have that as an option? And you can do custom images as well. So if I wanted to add, can I just drag and drop this? No, <laughs> why? Um, let's add a custom image. So pattern design, let's go to the smiley face. Mm. I just made everything yellow. Can we just press control Z here? No, let's start over and let's just add a um, smiley face. Oh, they have some nice line icons as well. That's pretty cool. And then if we wanted to just, okay, and then we can change the background color as well if we want. We can basically do whatever we want here. And yeah, I guess that's two really, really good ways to make uh, designs and also patterns. I think this tool especially, because it's based on AI, I think it's called Style, um, I've completely forgotten what it's called, Style, Tran what's it called, Style? Style transfer. I just found this on a YouTube video. Every time I find something like this, guys, I just have to make a video about it immediately to let you guys know. Because I have a problem with, uh, if, you, if I go on my Redbubble, you'll see what my problem is immediately. In yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys try and tell me what my problem is before. Oh, no, I want to be on portfolio. Okay, so what is my problem in your guys' opinion? <laughs> oh, my God. My main problem here is that they're all just not very good designs. They don't look very clickable. They're not very appealing. Yeah, I don't know. This has got six favorites. Interesting. I have really, really high hopes for this. Really, really high hopes. Tan and white shower curtain. Tan and white shower curtain. If you guys have seen my old videos uh, from about two months ago, I'll leave it above now because I think it's quite interesting. Um... I found this design idea and I'm I'm hoping that I'm going to start ranking around here but apparently I'm not I'm not ranking streams no nothing damn okay guys yeah I'll see you soon with some more content merry christmas if you celebrate it merry happy holidays I don't know just yeah try and spend some time with your family unfortunately I can't you guys are now my family because I'm stuck in uh, Italy basically I can't see my family for the second year in a row which is really really sad and I am quite sad about it so um, I wish this product would sell I really thought this product would sell but yeah I'll see you probably tomorrow on Christmas Day I'll probably release another video um, 